hi everyone today we are going to see about axial skeleton the anatomy we are going to see three parts in the first part we are going to see about axial skeletons i gave you the two pictures one is appendicular skeleton and one is axial skeleton we are seeing this axial skeleton the axial skeleton we have like skull in skull we have like cranium and facial bones the cranium bones we have like unpaired and paired in the unpaired we have like occipital frontal sphenoid and ethmoid and in the paired temporal parietal and lacrimal bones and hyoid hyoid bone it is a lingual bone or a tongue bone it is a, it will be present here okay which is a one bone and auditory ossicles which is six bones three from right and three from left which is stepus incus and malleus and vertebral column is 26 cervical 7 thoracic 12 lumbar 5 sacrum 5 which is fused and coccyx 4 which is fused which is attached to the sacrum and the thorax which is sternum one bone it is composed of manubrium and the scaphoid process and ribs 24 and we'll move to the full view of skull you can see the frontal bone parietal bone sphenoid nasal bone the full bone the full cranium and the facial bones you can see which is labeled out you can see and study okay we'll move sutures which is immovable joints between cranial bones this is a frontal bone this is a parietal bone the frontal bone which is articulated with the parietal bone by this one this is a coronal suture and this is a parietal bone we have a paired parietal bone on the left and right this parietal bone is articulated together by this one this is a sagittal suture and this is a occipital bone this occipital bone articulated with parietal bone this one is a lamb lambdoid suture and the one more bone we have like a temporal bone it will be here the temporal bone which articulated with parietal bone by squamous suture next the skull cavities can see it's labeled out the cranial cavity holds brain orbital cavity eye nasal cavity and the oral cavity here the three holes which is paranasal cavity here the paranasal sinuses are present which means the maxillary sinus ethyboid sinus frontal sinus third one okay we'll move cranial fossa the fossa means depression this part of 
cerebrum which make two depression so anterior depression the middle depression and the cerebellum which make posterior depression this is a lateral view this is a superior view you can see it's labeled out that is called anterior cranial fossa middle cranial fossa and the posterior cranial fossa we have like three fossa the three depression formed by cerebrum and the cerebellum okay, we will move the skull cavity orbit here the orbit the eye socket the seven bones surround or make the orbit cavity or eye socket the seven bones are frontal bone spinoid bone zygomatic bone ethmoid bone lacrimal bone and palatine bone the seven bones which make the i socket when given you the roof lateral floor and the medial walls these are the four walls which make the i socket okay we'll move nasal cavity is a nasal bone here the nasal cavity nasal cavity the nasal cavity which has a nasal septum which is formed by vomer bone and the perpendicular plate of ethmoid bone and the septal cartilage these three bones which make the nasal septum and in the place of perpendicular plate of ethmoid bone we have inferior nasal conge these are two small bones which form inferior lateral wall of nasal cavity superiorly articulate with middle nasal conge of ethmoid bone which laterally with the maxillary bones this present here inferior nasal conge i have given you the three walls the roof floor and lateral walls you can see i will move the nasal cavity has a way the pathway you can see this one is the main one this is a naso lacrimal gland which make two way one is to nose and one is to the eye the sputum to come out when we are crying this is a, the duct the sputum and the and the lacrimation to the come out these are the ways you can see the sinus waves will move these are the paranasal sinuses a group of four paired air filled spaces around nasal cavity the maxillary sinus under i the ethmoid sinus is between i the frontal sinus is above i and the sphenoid sinus which behind i you can see the anterior and lateral wave of the paranasal sinuses will see 
frontal bone which is the which form the anterior part of a cranium this frontal bone which make roof and lateral wall of orbit anteriorly it's articulate with the ear with the nasal bone and posteriorly with spinoid bone and the parietal bone here posteriorly with spinoid and parietal bone laterally frontal bone articulate with zygomatic bone this is zygomatic process which articulate with zygomatic bone and here you can see the glabella this one is a small hole supra orbital foramen the so nerve to pause and the supra orbital margin the temporal line the eminence you can see it's labeled will move parietal bone paired bone parietal bone which form roof and lateral wall of a cranium parietal bone articulate with the frontal bone by this this crani coronal suture and posteriorly parietal bone with occipital bone that point it will be there lambdoid suture posteriorly with occipital bone by lambdoid suture and laterally with the tem temporal bone and spinoid bone through squamous suture it's articulate with the temporal and spinoid bone through squamous suture and this is a sagittal suture this two parietal bone which articulate next occipital bone is the posterior part of a cranial bone form the posterior wall and base of the skull occipital bone which has two part one is a squamous part and is basilar part in the occipital bone this big wall is a foramen magnum the spinal cord passes through the squamous part lies posterior to foramen magnum and the basilar part lies anterior to foramen magnum and you can see the hypoglossal canal here the hypoglossal now to pass and one more one this is jugular foramen here the 9th 10th and the 11th cranial nerves to pass and you here you can see this some depressions here sigmoid sinus is present in the occipital bone the external view you can see the protuberance and the two condyle and the nuchal line you can see here this temporal bone this a suture squamous suture and also you can see here the nasal septum okay the vomer perpendicular plate of ethmoid bone and the septal cottage to form nasal cavity okay thanks for watching we'll continue to part 2 with some other bones please subscribe share and comment to easy way of learning to medicine thank you